she said, what you want to do? I was like, forget it. You do what you want to do. Yeah. So she put black in it and cut it. And when I tell you I have a teaspoon of hair left. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching Influence Me Wednesday with Morale All Things Hair. Hello, I'm Morello Kane with the Hair Debates segment of Fashion and Flair with Hair. And I have with me my co-host, D. Hardy of Elevation Hair Studio, and this beautiful, beautiful Miss Daphne Crosby. How are you doing today, Daphne? I mean, great, thank you. Thank you for having me. Absolutely, absolutely. And D. Hardy, what do you have going on, D? You know, Morale, as you know, we're just gearing up for the next couple of shows. Tennessee, be on the lookout. Yes. Florida, be on the lookout. And then we're going to wrap it up again with uh, Atlanta, actually, on the lookout. So we have quite a few shows gearing up for it, just really working hard to prepare. Love it, love it, love it. <clears throat> and we have with us here again, as Morale said, Ms. Daphne Crosby. And Ms. Crosby, hey, tell us about it. Tell us about it. What is it you're bringing with us today? Well, Dee, again, thank you for having me. I am the owner of BDC's Design Finds. It's a newly launched online boutique. Uh, I just launched, actually, in March last month. Thank you so Absolutely. much. Thank you. So it's just like I said, it's an online boutique. Um, it's on, women only. Recently, I added um, a couple of accessories, and I'm mm -hmm. adding shoes slowly. So we'll just see where God takes us, but that's what it is. Absolutely. Well, thank you again for joining here with thank us. Thank you. And I tell you, it's absolutely amazing to see this brand coming to the industry. Now, what prompted you to design this? Well, actually, I started sketching stuff in college, and I sent some stuff to FUBU, never heard back from them, and wow. just kind of was disappointed and deterred, and I put it down. And then my nephew um, started his clothing line, which is called Rich Guy Cartel. Okay. And um, when I asked him about it, he was like, you should join me. I was like, well, I don't want to do t-shirts. I don't want to do hip-hop clothes. I'm going to let you do it. He was like, but, this, but you were the one who inspired me to start wow. my line. So, of course... My nieces and nephews are my life, as well as my kids, and so that kind of touched me a little bit. Yeah. And I was thinking about it, thinking about it, and I was like, but if I do something, I don't want to just do t-shirts, but I want to do clothes, clothes. So um, I did design a few t-shirts, but um, I was like, okay, we'll see. And I knew I didn't want to have a storefront right yes. away, so I started with the online boutique. You know, what's absolutely amazing is when I came across your Instagram page, mm -hmm. and when I tell you, I actually thought that you were a model. Did so now, you? now, are you a model? In my mind. <laughs> <laughs> I model every day in my mind. Well, and, and that's only because I also sell Mary Kay. So I feel like I am my own commercial. Absolutely. I am the first and best representation of my line, my clothes, my products. So I just have to do me. When I tell you a woman of many looks, now, and this is a different look that I see that you're with. Okay, it's the pixie cut, but when I tell you online now, she has this short cut, and it's bad. Trust and believe me. So now, you've been rocking a short cut for a minute now. Um, This is actually, this cut is actually about two weeks old. Um, Because I launched my clothing line, I wanted to have a fresh look, and I was telling my hairstylist, Hey Tamika at, uh, <laughs> at Studio Her. Yes. Um, I was telling her that I wanted to have a fresh look, something yes. more. And she was like, Well, you always have a fresh look. I always like your hair because I do it on the off weeks. Okay. And so um, she said, What you want to do? I was like, Forget it. You do what you want to do. Yes. So she put black in it and cut it. And when I tell you I have a teaspoon of hair left, <laughs> <laughs> I have a teaspoon of hair. But I like it. I have not combed my hair since she did it. So, so it was just. I'm just easy with hair. I'm like, as long as it's a a choice and not a consequence, yeah. <laughs> it'll grow back. So I didn't mind. Okay. Now, D, what do you think about this style? Well, you know I love it. Yeah. You know I love uh, short hair specifically. So was it Tamika? Tamika. Go Tamika. <laughs> you yes, do that. I, as a stylist in the business owner myself, find yes. that short hair is one of the most creative ways, aside from color, okay. that you can really express oh, diverse. Yes. I didn't know that. That's how I look at it. Okay. I mean, Absolutely. It's easy to do. And I, my long hair ladies and, you know, guys, <laughs> I always have to come with y'all as well. But women specifically, in st from a stylist perspective, mm -hmm. A uh, 90 degree is 90 degree. A silk press is a silk press. You know, root touch-ups or root touch-ups. 
But when you're short, Come on up with drastic, you. Yeah. Oh, that, yes. that's my ability to be most creative and most yes. artistic, still keeping the client in mind. Okay. And I find that to be extremely important. Well, thank you, Timmy. Absolutely. It looks I, good. But you thank know you. what? But you know what? She's definitely bringing the artistic. Correct. Because, again, when you kind of look at, can, can you please get up and sure. just show us what you're rocking and how you're rocking it? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. And just, and just kind of take a look at what, how she's rocking that there. Now, when I tell you now, she's giving those jeans life. Okay, Thank but you. now what I kind of show off your design right there. Uh, well, actually, this is what I call just a work shirt okay. because my other t-shirts have different sayings on them. I'm from Monroe, Louisiana, and I'm super country. So my t-shirts, <laughs> my t-shirts have like "Sweet Baby Jesus" and "All Day Long" and "Twice on Sunday." Mm -hmm. um, look good, feel good, so that kind of stuff. So this, what I call with just my logo on it, is just one of my work t-shirts. Okay, but now look how you are dressing that up. Okay, ladies, please take a look at how she is dressing that up. So now that look is excellent for like being like on the town, say a Friday, at, yep. at, you know, at work or whatnot. Don't know if you'll be able to rock the jeans with the holes in them, but when can't I can't wear that to work at my job. <laughs> <laughs> can't wear this to Fred on at but, my job. But say a Saturday evening. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean that look is very hot. I absolutely love it. Thank okay, you. so now the vinyl in the top. Okay, what made you um decide to do the vinyl? Well, I um designed my shirt with the t-shirt lady at the time named um uh, Brandy Goodwin and uh, she helped me figure out my design she helped pick the vinyls hers is MK gifted creations and she um, we sat down together kind of collaborated on what I wanted the look yeah. I wanted so she kind of steered me in the vinyls but I knew I wanted some sequin vinyls some shiny vinyls okay. so we kind of just went and picked them out okay so the line actually consists of all of that, yes. Like the diamonds, the all the stones and whatnot. <laughs> oh, Rick. So, where can they go and capture the information regarding that? Right here on my shirt. Look at this. It's ddcsdesignfinds.com. Okay. Daphne, so about this lovely look you are rocking right here. Yes, yes sir. Please tell me about your inspiration. What brought about this here look? Mm -hmm. Well, I have a motto. Um, and my motto is when women look good, they feel good. Because yes. I'm all about uh, everything I do, whether it's Mary Kay or my clothes or whatever, it's all about women feeling better and having self good self-esteem. Yes. So I um, shop wholesale vendors, and I shop a, a few of them, and I just like to look good. So when I'm looking and browsing on what I want to stock my store with, um, I came across this. I loved it. And I kind of... Yes. And I kind of... Um, look for stuff that I would want to wear because okay. I don't want to have a brand and I don't want to like my own stuff. So <laughs> so I look for stuff that I know that I would wear. And so if people are allowing me to style them and to get my input on what they should wear, I'd like for it to be cute. Absolutely. <laughs> so, Absolutely. And it makes a lot of sense there. So in terms of your looks and what, what inspires you, how do you do your pairings and your selections? When you're shopping these vendors, what's the algorithm that comes about? Yes. That allows you to be so meticulous and make a selection of such. Well, cause I'm anal. Oh. That's all, that's okay. Okay. It's, just, it's just so it's it's really black and white. I'm anal, so I I, I like I say I think I think about things that I want to dress myself, of course. Mm -hmm. But I also study. I want to do what's trending. I want to oh. do what's uh, the latest fashions and all that other stuff. So I subscribe to InStyle. I subscribe to uh, Cosmo. And I, I look at them. I look at them. I subscribe to Vogue as well. Essence and Ebony. So I'm looking at what's trending. I'm looking what the new pairings for the season are. Because I don't want to get out and be sloppy with introducing my brand. So... I take my time and I do my homework and I see what's going on in the industry. And you know what? And let me just say this because you just stated some things here and I want people to understand that, you know, just, she just stated she go to InStyle, you know, and all of these different magazines. But now you just, you know, you just can't go there and think, oh, okay, well, she go and get inspired to find designs and I can do the same thing too. No, this woman has a gift. And so, in this Aww. gift that you have, no, you do, 
because people need to understand that um, they just cannot kind of pick it back and go and then, you know, let me just follow her recipe. And then I'll be able to find the same designs. You have an eye. That's Aww. a gift. Thank Everyone you. does not. I don't. And I'm just going to put it out there. <laughs> Everyone just does not have that gift. Oh, well, thank you. But it's, it's I, I really don't think it's that crucial. But thank you so much. <laughs> it's just liking what I like. Um, So... Um, I kind of diff I kind of beg to differ with you. Hey, I'm like, if you think you can do it, do it. We can walk through this thing together. It's, it's enough money out there for everybody. Oh, absolutely. Um, so I, I, hey, I'm, I can consult with you. I can help you do the same thing. But I, this is just, it ain't even me. It's my mama, and she instilled in us a long time ago. It is. Yes. She instilled in us a long time ago. You leave this house, you represent the whole Washington family. So you're supposed to look good all the time. And I take that with me. I tell my kids that. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's, it's just wanting to look good. So it's, and, and I don't I don't want people to mistake that for vanity. It's just caring about oh, who, I look, who, who I look like when I leave my house every day. Absolutely, absolutely. But, but you know, truly, truly, you definitely do have to have a gift to have that eye. Everyone can't put things together like that, you know. So you have that gift to know, okay, let me pair the up those shoes. Right. The pairings are the, pivotal. I, no. The pairings are pivotal in your selections. And, and I totally you. understand, even as, you know, stylists and so forth. It comes There's easy. a certain gift or a talent or a skill set all combined into one that allows us to execute. So yes. to, much to your point and then equally to yours, there's a gift, a skill set, and a talent that allows you to pair and provide and, you know, meticulously select something that not only you find to be appealing, mm -hmm. but that's equally going to generate revenue for you. Mm -hmm. That's going to allow the next person Absolutely. that you supply that garment with to feel confident, to exude that same energy that you felt at the time which your selection was made, I believe. So don't discredit yourself. She did advise you guys that she's willing to network. <laughs> Take advantage of it because often no, we as a people don't do enough of yeah, it. Yeah, we don't help each other enough. No, no, absolutely. You know? and, and so, and because when something is your gift, it comes very easy. It comes You know, easy. like... Being a, hair, being a hair care provider, you know, right. some people will say, you know, you know, I'm at home, I can't get that style like that. You know, and that's that's the truth, you know. Um, but it comes easy to us because that's our passion. Yeah. You know, when you go and take a look at that Instagram, <laughs> definitely you will see that that's her passion. Because, oh, trust me, she's bringing it. She can put it together. And let's not forget the at website. At the DDC brand <laughs> on Instagram. And the website? My website is www.ddcsdesignfinds.com. And I tell you, um, I, I definitely, definitely thank everyone for um, joining and viewing um, with us. But now, you also said something, too, that I'm wanting to just spotlight and, okay. and discuss. Um, when she was sending her designs and, and everything over to FUBU, you know, and boy, you know, they, uh, because it had, they invested, and I'm not going to touch that, but what I am going to say is she never quit, and so that's a nugget that I'm definitely wanting you guys to understand that she continued to pick it right back up. But now look what it has manifested. That seed is something powerful. And so I thank you guys for joining with me. My name is Morello Kane at The Hair Debate, okay? Morel, all things that hair, The Hair Debate. Where we come to debate, debunk, and discover all things hair.